Coinbase's newly launched NFT marketplace is all set to give tough competition to the unbeatable OpenSea. OpenSea was launched back in 2017, and at the time, it was considered the go-to NFT marketplace for a long time, actually. But the buzz Coinbase's NFT market created was literally unimaginable. According to Brain Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, there was 1 million signups on the platform's waiting list on day one. Even when signups were only options for citizens of the U.S., Sanchan, the VP of Coinbase, tweeted that the team was humbled by the response, and it was so crazy that the servers were lagging due to insane loads on the website, quote-unquote. Coinbase being one of the most incredible and oldest cryptocurrency exchanges already has 89 million people associated with its platform, which makes it ranked second on the world's top crypto exchange based on volume and reputation. With that sort of popularity, when it announced the launch of the social Web 3.0 NFT marketplace based on the Ethereum blockchain, the news really intrigued millions of NFT buyers. So today is going to be dedicated to diving in and finding out what this marketplace is all about and how different it is from all of the other marketplaces. The first intriguing feature of this marketplace is its very social media vibe. At first glance, the layout looks a lot like Instagram, which most of the users are already familiar with. When OpenSea already had around 600,000 plus users and buyers, Coinbase needed to create something out of the box. So Coinbase created a social space where users could connect with creators, buyers, and users of that same community. The Discover section of the NFT marketplace looks and works exactly like Instagram. If you scroll down to see the popular NFTs and doodles posted by famous creators' accounts like Yuga Labs, Larva Labs of CryptoPunks, Cool Cats, and Hash Masks, these NFTs are being posted along with their selling price, and the posts have opinions to like or comment on. The accounts of the NFT creators and companies can be followed to get the latest leads and insights on all these new NFT projects. Uh, this indeed was a, let's call it crazy idea, as there really weren't any other competitors that were implementing this before at any point, or even like the inkling of this. This is brand new. The NFT market is a fast-growing world where the popularity and prices can go as high as the sky, or as low as the ground in no time. In such a volatile space, being up to date is a necessity. For this, Coinbase NFT has created a separate space for trending collections. This section displays the currently popular stock of NFTs that are in demand, quote-unquote. The latest trends in this space also show the ranking lists of NFT collections along with their 7-day volume, and also the number of owners and the number of items per collection. And if you like it, you can also explore the page of a particular collection that you like and check out its floor price and its volumes, which is indeed a pretty transparent space to find new NFT projects that you might want either to just have or to invest in. The Accounts to Follow section has some popular verified accounts that you can follow to check on their owned NFTs. And this is another amazing feature because if you're an amateur, it gives you an idea of what other people are investing in. Learn by example and all that good stuff. We're building a place that's for more than just buying and selling. We want Coinbase NFT to be a place that helps creators and collectors build and engage their communities, says Mr. Saxena, the VP. Now, what makes the browsing experience even better is the popping suggestions that meet your needs. This feature is present in most other social media platforms, but really wasn't available in NFT marketplaces. According to Coinbase's team, they figured out that people don't only want a space where they can buy and sell NFTs, they want more ways to discover them. We'll make personalized NFT recommendations to save you time rather than having to search for everyone that you might want. In Coinbase's NFT, the feed will show suggestions of NFTs that you might be interested in. The searches are going to get better in time once the platform gets to see the content that you like, the people that you follow, the trends that you track. Based on all these activities, the platform will get more and more accurate with its suggestions. So now let's get on to the real business, the marketplace. The shop of the Coinbase platform is pretty much like any other NFT marketplace. The NFT shop contains all the listed NFTs that are ready or not ready to buy. The NFT collection, as of yet, is not as big as the OpenSea collection, but there's still a lot of them to look through. The platform allows the user to sort NFTs in two ranges, that are duration of listing and price range. The listing duration filter allows access to all the recently added or the older NFTs that you wish to find. The price range makes you sort and finds the lowest to highest priced NFTs. So if you're a newbie who just wants to find some of the recent NFTs that are cheap, these filters can be a lot of assistance. Moreover, if you have a specific price range, let's just say you have 10 ETH and you want to find NFTs that are under your budget, you can directly add 10 ETH to that price range, which simplifies the entire process and makes your buying process super simple, streamlined even. 
It also allows you to sort NFTs into their collection. If, if you want a mutant ape, you can filter out the others and look into the mutant ape collection and then search for the low priced or high priced ones. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Another cool feature is the NFT descriptions. When you open an NFT page, there are NFT attributes listed along with project details like volume, price and ETH, and owners. And the comment section below contains the buyer's and owner's comments on the NFT. The buzz that Coinbase created was strong enough to intrigue the bank payment giant MasterCard. Since Visa already showed its interest in CryptoPunks, MasterCard, to keep up, decided to facilitate the Coinbase NFT buyers with its master bank cards. Coinbase aimed to make the NFT platform as easily accessible as Coinbase was for cryptocurrency. A lot of users access Bitcoin for the first time through Coinbase's platform. And similarly, the NFT team wanted something similar, similarly, that could make the buying and selling process go smoothly. And for that, MasterCard pitched in to create the best user experience that it could for NFT buyers. According to Prakash Hariramani, the CPO of Coinbase, their mission at Coinbase is to increase economic freedom all around the world, and they believe that by enabling more people to join the creator economy and benefit from their work, NFTs will have an important role to play in that mission. If there's a MasterCard for buying or selling, there will be no hustle of having the right cryptocurrency or specific blockchain. Since the launch of its beta version, there are some features that could be added to the platform in the future. One of these features is the social token that Prakash Hariraman is talking about. These social tokens will work as loyalty tokens for different creators. Since the platform is all about community building and communication, these tokens are really going to help creating fan clubs and social engagements and fan rewards and, and so much more. This will also be valuable for the creators, as the creators will build a direct relationship with their fans and their followers. Another very smart move by the Coinbase platform was to heavily reduce the transaction fee. On almost all other NFT marketplaces, the transaction costs turn off for buyers. I know I have personal experience in that regard. When buyers spend a high amount on the NFT itself, they hate paying the high transaction costs that make the purchase even more expensive. The transaction cost of the market leader OpenSea is currently at 2.5% of the purchase. And to my point, Coinbase played it really smart here by keeping the transaction fees really low and giving an open space for traders to sell their NFTs. However, the initial no transaction fee is a limited time offer that seems more like an enticing marketing strategy for the user who wants to make the most of it. The company plans to increase the transaction fee in the future, but claims to keep it a single digit fee. Since the launch is yet to happen, the beta version, despite being open to exploration, testers are testing the platform to make sure that the user gets the absolute best experience possible. Beta testers can create profiles, interact, or buy and sell NFTs, and then use wallets. After the platform is tested and checked, the official relaunch is very likely to happen. In the coming weeks and months, we'll add more features that will gradually bring our vision for a Web3 social marketplace to life. We're planning to add drops, minting, token gated communities, and the option to buy NFTs with your Coinbase account or a credit card, says Sanchan Saxena. All in all, the sudden decrease in the sales volume of OpenSea makes this a real good time for Coinbase to launch its amazing Web 3.0 on social media platforms, as the competitors are already struggling to keep their place in the race.